Hey everyone, Son of Beast and Terry Crews here. This is NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs 24 on EA Sports. Hey everybody, Paintbrush here. Welcome to the second game, to the third game of the NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs on EA Sports. We are back to the Eastern Conference again, as the Flyers are ready to rematch against the Carolina Hurricanes. Now the 1-0 starts puts it up for, for the Hurricanes to start their goal runs right in between. But we have to find out who will get the next goal. Will the Flyers stop and by for the Game 2? Or will the Hurricanes extend their lead to a... Right now the next commentary I have is Fan, and he's along with Terry Crews. And the center ice will all be calling for... You know who. It's all for everyone. Tyler Beats. I'll be back here with the post game show and a three star players and total statistics. And the final game will be the Jets versus the Avalanche here at Ball Arena in Mile High. Stay tuned for the next game as this will be the last one in day one of game two. Let's get going. Guys, all yours. Hello everybody, Fan here, and we are back at PNC Arena. Get ready for the rematch as the Flyers take on the Canes back in Carolina. We are off to do this again. The starting goaltenders in between of Urson and Kochikov. Ready to start. Here we go. Let's do this. Start with the save here by Rotenko. Now here's Smetchikov. He will start the puck here right into the Flyers territory. He is the puck right now as Forster will have it over again. And York will have it over now into the other side. And the Hurricane Zone by Starby. What a save by Chokel. You know, that, that's a hard one that he has been going to take on. His particular amount of it has been turning like a crazy one of the part of the games. After Anderson has been left along with Ranta, he knows that Chojikov has been really been doing a lot of his goalie routines. Ever since then, without playing for Anderson as they lost against the Boston Bruins in the last part of the game on EA Sports, this was nowhere to be lucky at all. It had to be uh, unspecified for another reason that they can't usually do. If something happens, then that's going to be a hard time if there is another way to get this going through. Flyers are back into the Hurricane territory. Suits a shot and Burns takes a puck steal. He went down as Aho will have the puck possession. Again to Smetchikov. Looks to the middle. What a save by Urson. Farby's covered up in the corner right near the net. Hurricanes are back into the offensive zone. Philadelphia have their possession with Burlapton. He's up in the middle. And makes that one stop again by Chetakov. Lapton's got the puck. Loses the puck and Aho will give it again to Bunting. He's now over again into the middle. Sanheim will have that puck now again to Frost. Over now again to Atkinson. Carolina back into the offensive zone finds Drury. What a stop by Urson. Urson's going to hold on with the puck here, just, just coming down under 17 minutes remaining in the period. Now they're ready to do an earth face-off. No score in the game in Game 2. Frost wins the face-off. Sealer will have that puck now again to tip it. 2 on one opportunity, blocked by Pesh. You know, this is a hard one. It's going to be a lot of like a typical change-off. They really are starting to show what they've got. It's not what they do to try to keep on coming down. They have to do some a lot of like techniques in between if they want to get right through it. Now with another face-off ready to go, it's still a no-score to game. Another win for the Flyers. Now again to Walker, and now Atkinson will have it. He's right over now to Tippett. Loose the puck range and his Nekas will have it. Now this fires the puck out into the Flyers' territory. Sealers got that puck as Philadelphia back in possession. Over again to Atkinson. Looking to get a goal. Shoots! Saved by Trebekov. Walker's got it now. Good pass stopped here by the goaltender. He went down hard. Now Drury will have it over. 
Ricard by Sketchy. Up again to Bunte. Right toward the middle slot. Shoot! Save again by Ersen. Now back to Walker again for the Flyers. Coming towards the middle. Shoots off. That one hit off the glass and that will be out of the luck. And this one will get a replacement. It's probably because the puck was getting a glass that point and this was not happy enough. They're going to have to replace a new one instead, so... Are they going to set up a bill? I don't think they would. <laughs> if there would have been, honestly, uh, if there would have been a change-up, I would not be here with you. Oh, don't do it, as. <laughs> Sorry, I had to send the bill over. Now, the test will have it over again to Hathaway. To the right wing. Behind the net. Orloff's got that puck, trying to battle along the board. Contest the halfway shot. Good stop by Karchakov. Jarvis with the puck in the middle. Race towards the slot. Another pot save here by Ersen. Goes a wrap around. That's another huge stop by Ersen. The Turner will have that puck here into the wing. Hurricanes back in offense as Chatfield will give it over to Akko. I go right toward the slot, now in the Flyers' territory. And a cut and bound has been stopped by Zemula. Zemula get the stall. Again, to Clarence. The Slurrers will have that puck here, settle it out of the play. And Burns will have it over. Again to Svechikov. Svechikov, in the middle. Gets pushed out of here as Burns recovers the puck. There's a lot of takedowns in between. Defenders can't get right into it. That is going to be a hard one to take. Samula had that puck in the middle and erasing the bound. Trying to chop the puck, but there's a delay penalty called on Carolina. That's a problem. You're never going to get this one over, and that's going to be a slashing. Not so good in the first period as Brett Burns is in the penalty box. Yeah, there is a call. The referee had made that signal earlier, and that attempting is not going to turn out great for Carolina today. First penalty kill will be on Carolina as power play comes on for Philadelphia Flyers. Drury wins the faceoff as Pesk will try to hold it along the board. Drury to Slavin. Clear the puck out of here and the Kane zone. The Flyers are back in the offense as far as we get to York. Now again to Brink. Brink in the right wing to make the other. That one blocked it up and going and bumping traffic by Slavin. Slavin's got that puck. Try to go for short handed. He scores! A first short handed goal for the Hurricanes. Now brought their team to have the first time in game two. This is what happened. That one bumps out of Ursin's block. And this was no joke. That one's turning it over. And this one just got hit for the pad. It just must have tipped in that time. Wow. So the star one puts in for the Hurricanes as Brett Pesh has the assist while the power play resumes a short handed goal for Carolina. The Carolina Kings wins the faceoff and we pass the midway mark of the period. One minute remaining for the power play for the Flyers as Frost will have it. Frost trying to look over! What a stop by Kretschikov! Oh, he's been doing really well out at that point. After first game, success. Then second game, see if he can fight back if he can go over it. There we have it. We have passed the midway mark of the period. The Flyers and the Hurricanes are tied up with their face-off one. And now it's still a one nothing lead. Samuel gives again to Frost. Now has it over on the right side of the lane. Just the Forster, the backhander stop again here on the mass save. Two times stop. Stenchy clears the puck out. Red burns his time, it's almost about to expire. 
releases over to tip it. Shoot! Again! What a save by Koshikov! That one's going to get easier at this point. You knew, you knew you saw that one you're coming, and that one's like a fast one on a player's stick. After a power play is over, Ferns and their team are back to even strength. You know, it's a great communication in between. They've been doing a lot of passing across in between, trying to keep that play in the zone out of timing right now at this point, because they can't let them go in. That's what happens if they are going to have to try to mess up with someone up. And a save comes up by Ersin. Forster's got the puck here on the other side. Ball along the board. He now has it over to Gannon Sketchy. Sketchy right towards in the right wing. Stops up by a fire. That's a semi love gift to Frost. Now he finds again a Halfaway. Halfaway blocked that shot. York's got it. Good catch by Kochekov. Oh, that was so close to get that one in there. Yeah, pretty enough. <laughs> and you can always say good catch. As right now, Sebastian Ago, he has a third eye ability that he can make every change along the way, making the look good pass and the communication goes in. Owen oh, Tippett might have a good feeling in between the superstar players, but he might be finding himself if he can get through it. I'll be watching those too, and they are really like a good amount of uh, players that goes aggressive and overall rating right in between the two. Back to you. Halfway shot, saved by Kuchakov. What a stop by Kuchakov. Oh, he's been really killing it off that boy. If the rebound puts it in there, that's going to be a hard one to try to hit the goaltender up there. But he's gotten pretty showing up at that point. What a great help. Hurricanes wins the faceoff. Chatfield battling along the puck. Again, Orlov. Orlov swings again to Akko. The Hurricanes are back into the Flyers territory. Takes a shot. Locked it up here as Barbie chops that stick with the puck. Katanz put the puck in now with 5.30 to go. Backhanders blocked. Chatfield again to Ajo. Ajo tries to get to Svechikov. Backhander with a save puts in for Ersin. And that one went behind the net. They're scrumbling along the board. That's going to be like a hard win to trade. But they're just trying to keep that one going over. About getting caught. Shoots again. What a save here by Kuchikov. Yoke's got it now to Frost. Frost again to St. Hine. Shoots wide off the mark. Chatfield now give again to Terravinen. Terravinen got slammed by the board. And Frost will have it over again to Atkinson. Orlov over again to Svechikov. Carolina back in the offense zone, looking for more space within between, between the defender and offender. Philadelphia Flyers back in the offensive zone. Walker on a two-on-one fast break. What a good contact here by Slavin. He just went himself down. Now Slavin will have it. Look again to Bunting. Shoots! Locked up by the Flyers zone. Jury battling along the board, finding Bunting. Again to Burns. Burns again to Slavin. Over to Nick is shot. Rebound is stopped made by Ersen. Over now to Atkinson. On the right wing, putting up for a lot of room. Tippett shot. Pat saved again here by Kuchikov. Burns again to Slavin. Slavin lost that puck. Can't hold on as Sealer will have it over again to Atkinson. Here he comes! What a save by the goaltender as he denies it. Style battling along the board in the home bench. Drury has it. Going over again. Drury looking for Bunny. Suits! Save here by Ersen. Drury bashes along the board. There's a physical contact and this one goes right ahead with the flyer's head. What a save by the goaltender. We are under a minute remaining in the first period, then Stahl looking for room. That goes into the visitor's bench. Wow, that is a big hit, and they are disagreeing on that point. Well, there's no other way, because that was going to be a, a tumble takedown in between with the Flyers. They said, let's get him. They get go, just going to try like that. It's like a civil war. You're battling along the, along the field, and you're just going to have to take him down for sure. My goodness. The toy shot. 
Yakov saved by Kochikov. 3.7 seconds in the first period, and this one comes to be a lie for the new goaltender to come into the playoffs. Win for Sebastian Ako. Svechikov will clear it out. Flyers haven't made the goal yet, but the short in the goal puts in here for Slavin. We'll get to the second period when we come back after the break. Welcome back to PNC Arena. We're about to get this thing started for the second period. And off we go, ready to take on for another face-off and ready for a scrimmage to get the game back in. Terry Cruz standing in for the first period recap. All for you. Well, they're doing really well. <laughs> just the problem with the ice ball, they were really just trying to keep that one in there for sure. And that's what happens. They, they really are trying to get that one here goaltended up. But it's not just the harder way, but they are trying to respond it. All they do is just like keep on coming in down, and what they really got to do is like keep playing it, and all the hard work pays off. They just really wanted to like keep on fighting it in between. But I have a lot of feeling of it if they're going to keep on coming down. Hopefully the Hurricanes might keep coming. Now I have the Burns on a full pressure. I'm going to get a turn binding. Seven. Again to Ako. Blocked again by the Flyers. Deep in. Not enough. Urson's going to hold that puck here with only 18.41 to go in the second period. A lot of aggressions in between for the Flyers and the Hurricanes. Still a one nothing lead for Carolina. Now they put up a number win. Slab in. Shoots. Save again by Urson. And Walker takes a puck. Clears the zone with a full pressure. That ended here. I mean, I don't know what to tell you now, but they've got it going. Good stop by Kochakov. Slavin did it again to Bunting, and now he gives to Drury. Now Slavin has it. Right towards the right wing. Good stop by Urson. He's not enough to get there at that point. I mean, he's trying to, like, get right into the wing. Not easy when you call for her. Just get right to it. Flyers wins the faceoff. Walker finds Atkinson. Philadelphia in a battle range. Here's Tippett. Lost that pocket. Slavin will have it. Nekis over again. Mario Nekis got bumbled up by the defender, and Frost will have it again to Walker. Here's Walker carrying it along back to Jury. Jury trying to look for more room. That clears out his own, and now finds Walker. Atkinson with the puck. 16.30 to go in the second period. Looks to tip it. Lost that puck. This one tries to stay inbound as Slavin will have it. He's on a roll range. Marna! What a glove by Urson. Oh, he just can't get rid of that. He did for Urson. Without Josh Gart, that may have been a close call, and if he could have that one coming in. I know he's trying to get this one over, but let's see if he can handle it. Now for the win for Stahl as he gets to pass. That's saved by, by Urson, and Ackerway will have it. Now in the full range, here's Pesh. Trying to give it off again to Stahl. Stahl trying to look inbound. Again to Jarvis. What a save by Urson. 15.30 to go in the second period. No goals made in this period. Hurricanes wins the faceoff. That's blocked. Jarvis goes again to Martin. Pesh. Give it again to Sanji. Shoots. Locked it up with a stick clip as Sam Hine will have it. Contest with the puck. Another big save by Krajekov. Off to Martinuk. Fires it. Clears it out. Philadelphia Flyers gives it over again to Sam Hine, but now Hathaway will have it. Moves it quickly over to Kataz. Kataz got fumble. Controlling from the puck is sketchy. Back to the Flyers. Lafton's got that puck right toward the board. Near New York. 
A backhander! A put up save me by Crochet Cop, and this one rebounds again to four star. Clark here to the slot! What a save by the goaltender! Stall! Trying to get that one puck out of here. St. Hine in trouble now. Carolina back in offense. Forster takes the puck. With a shot. What a save by Kuchikov. Wow, he's been terrific out there. Trying to tie that game, denies it. Well, it just keeps on coming right now. I mean, they really are getting it this thing over and done. It looks like a new goaltender has been doing a lot much better than Frederick Anderson, but I don't think that a new rookie player won't have it in mind. Not at all. Here's Burns, fouling along the puck range. And now tip it. Full pressure zone. Slayton takes the puck. And they leave the zone. Back in the Flyers territory. Scrumming the board. Slayton. Back to Stretchikov. Terry Wayden. Lost that one again. St. Ryan takes the puck. 2 on 1 opportunity, fast break. Shoots! Save on a glove stopper. Svechikov tries to give it over to Ako. 11.45 to remain in the second period. And that's blocked. Over on the other side is Atkinson. 11.30 to go in the second period. Tries to take his time. Passing the zone. What a save by Kochikov. Tip it. In the middle, Burns has it back. Now Drury will have it. Drury gives again to Slavin. Slavin on its way down. This one gets stopped by Zeeler. Atkinson with the puck. This one stops again by Burns. Burns now finds Slavin. Slavin moving back and forth. Back the pass by Drury. Drury, not the shot. It's blocked away. Probably this again to Forster. They got numbers here. More save by Kochikov. Try to take it back. No penalty called on Carolina. Well, there's still like a lot of clean. I mean, they really are trying to get this one over it, but they can't let that one get away with that. Oh, what a stop by Urson. That one's a pretty close call and almost made the call. Now, you never know what Urson was doing. That one is a pretty pickup play. That one got him tight. What a stop made by the goaltender of Urson. Glove it up. Just get that one out and cover it up. We passed the midway mark of the period. Still a one nothing lead for Carolina. Now to win for the Canes. Orlov's inbound. That one takes over by Lafton. Lafton trying to get over this. He goes punch down. Chatfield's got that puck. Looks now again to Drury. Oh, he went slam down. Oh, there's a big tumble takedown. That's going to be a hard one to take. I mean, what a takeout rush. I mean, you're going to have a payback look if you get it. Coach x has going to settle down with the team and they'll be ready for a forcing group for an hour face off. Nearing closer to the end of the second period, they're ready for an hour face off, still a 1 0 game. Katora wins the face off. Here's a 9, went wide. Fast got that puck. Nose and recovers it. Can't hold on with the puck, and this one goes back again to Kennedy. What a blocker save by Ursen. Nose in! Another huge save by another goaltender of the Flyers. Oh, three times in a row by Ursen. 744 to go in the second period. Man, he's still not giving up again. Now you for the number win as York will have it. York swings again to Brink. Brink gets smacked down as Fetchikov will have it. Oh, he went down earlier enough. And now back over again to the hurricane zone. Fires the puck out. As Burns will have it. Deep pass to Fetchikov. Right toward the middle. Left save by Ersen. That's really going to be like a heavy tip off. You're never going to get that one in there if you're going to have that one in time. Mm. 
Madden off to win our face off. One nothing still the score. Now another win here for the Hero Kings as he gives the special cop back to Burns. Fires it right toward the glass that's deflected off the player's stick. That went wide off the mark. And back to a full pressure. He scores! What a relentless way for Sebastian Ango. They get the extension 2 0. Well, here's the catch breaks. That's what happens because Sebastian Ango just got relentless. He went over it. He just tried to defend it out and says, You're going to take over me? I don't think so. He made this goal early enough. Extended two. That's what happens now. Tiro, Tiro Teravainen just made that one goal earlier enough in the range. He had that one with the pass off and that angle. That is a great way that Sebastian Donalds made the close call and he never got a penalty call or that one just got very hard in the interference. What a stop. And a save puts up. Oh, Ursan! My, oh my. How do you stop that puck? That's what happens now because Ursan can't let him go flying. He just still had that close call in a range. You got to give him credit to that. The team is back down, as they know it's still a 2-0 game in the second period. And now the face-off for Sketchy takes it over. Slavin shot! Rebound and stop again by Arsene. What a great play! Now Burns will have it over now again to Slavin again to Martin to that shot. Almost went to Dan and this one stayed out of the net. Stahl gives it to Jarvis, and now again to Slavin. The Burns! Chance! And not going the net, and this one goes out. Tippett goes again to St. Heim, and the full pressure's over. Crew Kings are back in the offensive territory. Lofton has that puck. He gives a fair beat. Can't hold on to that puck, and Stahl will have it. Tries to go over it. Through a round. What a save here by Erson. Burns has it. Finds Slavin. Chop the puck up. He scores! Jordan Stahl gets their first team to have the playoff ball. Well, on that choppy puck move, and there's a rebound put in. That's what the captain does. Go back and rebound it. That kind of like he did it. Just got that through the time. They have the extension now as Brett Burns had the assist. Has 44 in the playoff career. The high range inbounding does have it all for the Hurricanes. Just leave it out to be. They've really been going over it to try to keep them stalled out. And a shot. What a block save. As Forcer will have it. Cut him out with the slot. Denied by the goaltender. Oh, what a save by Kochikov. Nosing gets to the Kennedy. Fires the puck out. Zealer has got that puck now facing again to Farby. The Flyers are back into the Kings territory. Slavin takes that puck. Spins it over and now finds Fast. Pass again to Kilkenemy. Now Fast has it. Flyers are back into the offensive super range and now it goes back in. Dumps the puck out. Stitchies! He's got that puck right now as Drury will have it over. He went slapped down as Zealer gets a four star. Tries to go in between. Unable to get that pretty now. Zealer the locked in shot. What a save by Kochikov. He's still like getting it clean off. I mean, really need to be out there for one particular time. But that may be a one harder thing if you can get that one going through. Flyers wins the faceoff. What a great stop by the Hurricanes defensive man. That's what you do. You gotta crotch that one down and then you've got it all coming. He finds a shot. Oh, Walker made that block shot. Oh, he got slipped down. Here's Rui. What a save by Urson. Line three to go in the second period as the time winds down the second. As Bunny will have it over now again to Drury. Drury, move along the way. Suits for that yes. And he didn't have the right timing as the glove saved by Urson. Now in the final minute remaining in the second period, it's still a 3-0 game. Ah, 
Chicago wins the faceoff. Gears pass. Oh, what a stop made by Urson. We finally made our way down under a minute as Katas gives it again to Hathaway. And Hathaway moves it over to Paul shot, taken over by Pash. Pash now finds Ago. Ago try to roll it over, and Zemula will have that box steal. Give again the gold to Stahl. Stahl now finds Hathaway. Again is Zemula. Ten seconds in the second period. Katas shot. What a save by Kochikov. Falling shot. Save off by Kochikov. Are you kidding me? What a great save, and that ends the second period. Keep coming down. That's what the goaltender gets. 3-0 to score after a rebound put in. It's now a 3-0. Ready for the third. Be back after this. We've come into the final period in the second game. Glad you have us back. Let's roll. And off we go. Final period starts now. As I over to you first with the second period recap. They've been really dominating it well. I know what they're playing like a hard one to take. It's not what they always do that they can try to keep on scoring. But that rebound puts in, as you know, of course you can always contemplate tell that the captain does it all as Pesk has that one in there. He's been doing it like keeping it inside outwards. And you know, Jordan Stahl was really seeing it coming through. They get that one a lot of credit. They got a lot of help to take over the range. This one really keeps on coming down. They're going to get that one a lot harder. But no score for the Flyers as they are trying to get this one over. They've got to find some more room. They can get there. What a save by Ursin as the start puts up in the third period. Kirsten Heim, he has it over to Forster. Forster trying to look for his first goal. The backhander can hold on with the puck, and this one goes back over to Carolina. Slave it again at Ajo. Sliding it in the pit. Reaching the arc, finds Fetchikov shot, blocked a shot by the Flyers. And York will have it over to get a Farby. Farby trying to get over it, and another one stop again. A Slavin will give it over, and Kolchikov will cover it up. 17-10 left to remain in the third period. This time I have the head coach interview here, John Tortoria, as right now Tyler B stands by. Thanks guys, I was able to talk to one of the head coaches for the Flyers. He was really like all into a pursuit. He has already had been making this left in the fly. It's soft about how Tertullia was describing his teams. He has that one in place with the extra frame as post-game media and with his availability. He's trying to help in the team in concentration and he was really all over it to now. They may talk to a teammates and they've, they've got to really help him out. They can't leave that one hard on their own, but they are going to need to try to keep on going if they can get there that crew. The late penalty call and the interference will call on Michael Bunning. He's in the penalty box ready to get another power play for the Philadelphia Flyers. Yeah, that's a little bad in the aggression right now. This was not how they were starting things out. That's going to be a hard one to take over if they can't get enough to it. Two penalty kills on the current Kings as right now the power play still runs with an 0-1 score for the power play possession as one short sure goal puts in for the Hurricanes, but let's see if the Flyers can take it all. I've got a bad feeling with that one, and they, they really are trying to like get that one over it. Just at the same time, they, they don't really pressure it on their own. They need to do something else with a quick favor. They've got to get over this one at all. On the other way is the head coach for Rod Bray and more as Tyler Beast has more. Roderick has a lot of it to take all of it, and as a Canadian professional uh, ice hockey coach and a former player, he's been really like keeping it on for every single time. He's been really like the helping team with every need. He's been really like all over it for now, and every scheme of the situation comes along the way. He's been really like he wants to get that one done, got to get some more room. And they have that goal. There is your play as Atkinson gets their team on board. There you have it. Cam Atkinson had that goal release been in there, and it's been way too long. Beat that goaltender, punched it on the leg, and this one just slapped it out of here. And this was not good at all. That one got through it, and that goal made it in. The 
Flyers are on the board as Scott Lapton will have his 26 assist in the playoffs. First goal in the playoffs for Atkinson. 15.32 to go. Still haven't been to midway mark of the period. As right now scheduled, we'll have that puck. Now he finds that goal to go again goal. That one's saved again by Urson. And Frost will have it over. Trying to go over from the right side of the wing. And Sechikov takes a steal. Moves along the wing. Yoke takes the puck and now he finds Poling. Poling tries to go inside. Moves a Katez shot. Good save by Kochikov. Ah, go right again to Svechikov. Right toward the middle. And a blocker. That went to the side of the net. And this one stopped again by the goaltender. As halfway gives to Katez. Flyers back into Kane's territory. Off to Poling shot. What a blocker saved by Kochikov. Yoke with the puck down by Poling. Now the contest will have that puck. Race him back to York. Here's a land shot. What a stopper by Kochikov and Bunting takes it out. That really is going to be a hard one to take. But I'm with you now. You've got a great one cover. Oh, what a save by Ursin. And St. Ryan has it over again to York. Diane with the pass over to Hathaway. Up along the wing is Katez. In attacking Bowling. What a great stopper by the goaltender as he denies it. Off to another one go again to Burns as York takes it Forster and now Lafton has it. More plenty of room in the wing. Forster shoots. Saved by the goaltender as Kochikov takes another save inbound. Here's Slavin. He gets punched out of his own. And Zeeler will have it over. Now he finds St. Ryan. St. Ryan trying to look over to get a Forster. Up to Lindholm shot. What a save comes up here and the goaltender that Nettis comes loose. Gotta replace it if they can get there. A lot of time left in the period. Still haven't made the midway mark yet, but we're getting closer now. The Canes wins the faceoff. A stall wins the faceoff. Marner up right into the left wing. Charlie shot. Glove saved by Urson. Still lots of time left as Urson's trying to hold on in place. And an emergency backup still have a big call for the goaltenders. Lafton wins the faceoff as Zeller will have it. Pass again to Farby. Farby trying to look over for more room. Shoots! Saved by Kochikov. That's going to be a hard one to take. I mean, you know, Kochikov has been really doing really well. Just get that one goaltender save and glove it up. You know, I really like when they when the Hurricanes try to keep that one out of the sight. They do an our face-off win. They get their attackers. They want to come back in the second round if they can get there that far. Great stop again by Urson, and now Walker will have it. Deep pass to Lapton. Lapton tries to look over and get the right wing, and now finds more room. Forster! That's blocked shot as Sketchy takes it over with the puck steal. Two more opportunity. Shoots! Saved off here by Urson. Urson Jarvis takes the puck steal. Stall, will he get it? And deflected, it has been denied, and Lapton will have it over. Tries to handle off with more rim and pressure. Takes a shot. Another save here. Comes up by Kruchikov. Now Marinuk will have it over again to Stahl. Stahl went down. Ouch. And Zeeler will have it. Get the puck pass to Farby. Now finds Frost. And now over to get Atkinson. Loses the puck range. Can't find an open man. Icing's whistled on Philadelphia. If you're looking for tomorrow's game, we have another one coming inbound. Western Conference starts here as the Canucks face against the Kings at Rogers Arena. Following along with the next game, as we have another one coming in, this one will be another one to take the group off in between the Bruins and the Capitals at TD Garden Arena. Following along with the next two games will be the Rangers and the Colts back at the Garden. 
And finally, it's the stars versus against the predators at American Airlines Center. That will be happening here for tomorrow night's game in afternoon and evening, only on Summit Feast. Be sure to subscribe to his channel, and he'll have tons of more notifications coming in by if he has more in between. If you don't, somebody will. Tyler Biden will have that puck here. Saves it! Saved up by Ursa and now gives the tip back. Over now, finding more rivets to Orchester and now again to Frost. Terravinen has that puck now give again to Chatfield. With a new line change, Chatfield lost that one as Walker has it. Seven minutes remaining in the third period as Atkinson will have it. Now Orlov will have it. Pete got over, now finding again to Chatfield. Now again to Apo. Turbinen, looks the angle, there's a shot, what a stop by Urson, unbelievable save! That one's going to be a hard one to take, and Urson really never saw that one coming. What a great stop. Now he again to Frost wins the face off as Ann Hine will have it. He does it again, shoots it, save off by Kuchikov. Erlon has that puck. Fires it out of the deck. Sennheim's got it now, with under six minutes remaining in the third. Now York will have it. Shoots! Saved by Kuchikov. Oh, what a great stop here as Kuchikov tries to pull down with only 5.40 to go. Early range nearing the five minute mark. Three wins to score for Carolina. Number win for Orlov, and now this one goes back to Chatfield. Chatfield trying to look for answer, not by Nekas. Scrum along the boards. Nekas has that puck. Try to go in for the center. Wave it off as Sennheim gives again to Lapton. Lapton in the middle shot. What a save here by Kuchikov. Farby tries to look over. Sennheim shot. Almost went tipped in as Kuchikov takes it out. Battling along the puck in the middle, as now Drury will have it recovered out of the King's territory. Shoots on the back end, stop again, as York has it over to Forster. Forster to pass over to Furby. Here's left in shot. What a save by the goaltender as he pokes that out. Left in, lost that one, and goes back again to Slavin, and Bunny will have it. Here's a breakaway chain. Shoots! Lock the shot as Sennheim gives it now over on the other side. Back to York. There's a lot of great block shots in between. I mean, they can't let that handle it off and they can do it. They know how to do that. Smetchikov right toward the corner of the wall. And that go! What a save here by Erson. Tiro Ravine went down. Smetchikov. Pass broken up as Ticket will have it. Oh, he went push down that hard. Slam it again to Burns. Burns trying to control it. Shoots! What a save here by Harrison. You're back to pulling. Battling along with a loose puck, and Burns will have it over. Pulling's got it now. Try to take it out. It test can't hold on. Halfway's got that puck. Shoot one! What a save by Kuchikov! Oh, what a lucky way to save it up for a new goaltender. Let's have the call as Tower Beast has more. Sebastian Ago really had that one all coming along with the save of this game. He's got a pretty particular on his third eye ability. He's been doing really well ever since now, and he's been keeping eye on stride. We'll find out if he has more games underway coming up to make a call run in between. Sealer lost that puck, and Farby will have it. The man advantage is on for the Flyers, and they need to get this one goal back in. And that shot stopped again by Korchakov. Under a minute remaining, shot blocked. Jarvis up to score it, and that ends up in two. There you go, Jarvis with the go ahead goal. Beats over the defender, and that's how you win game two. Wild fans are standing up.
and the Hurricanes extend their lead 4-1 over the Flyers. Stahl wins the faceoff. Trying to go back into the offensive zone as Skeggy has it. A man won't stop again by Arson. Oh, what a great play this is. This one stay out of the zone and we're running 30 seconds. Stahl wins the faceoff. Oh, pass by Daddy scores! Oh my, the backhand does it again for Jarvis. Well, he went down already, but that rebound picked up for Jarvis. That was going to be unlucky. Watch what he does. He just made out on passing the ocean. Give him go, Bowman. That's a pickoff player with the go-ahead goal. He does it again. And now the team is up to extend 5-1. Get ready to pack up and ready to go to Philadelphia for game three and four. Yeah, I know they do. That is a wild lucky game. I can't wait to see what their next game is, if they can get right to here. Saved off by Arson. Walker clears it out. Last possession for the Flyers. Couture shot saved by Kochikov. Last one to break. And the save puts up. Hurricanes win their second game in the playoffs. Beats over the Flyers and took it all in. Well, you know what happened now because Tiro Turlainen got that great piece. That's what happens. Kuchikov just got it all. What a lucky save in the night. It's a great celebration. 2-0 is the score for the Hurricanes. They've done it all. I know they did. Keep on winning it. Keep it going. And that's it for right now. Fan along with Terry Cruz and of course Tyler Beast. This has been a presentation of the NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs on EA Sports. Have a great night. We'll see you all again soon. All right, fan. Thank you very much. What a great start, wild stopping run of the game. One and two for the Hurricanes. Three star players are on. As right now, no third star player has been given over as Seth Yarvis will have that his chance to step into the number two spot. But the third star may never be always. Jacob Slavin with one goal, one assist, and six hits. Got through the great shutdown, and that one takes it over with a bang. And your first star player goes to Pyrrhic Kuchikov with 56 saves of the night. What a game. Here are your statistic scores on the other side. We have 60 over 57, as Carolina had that one coming up with the early range in the first start and the end of the range for total shots. Then 54 over 32 for Philadelphia. Keep the run on light attacker. 628 over 601 for Carolina. 92 percentage is a close call range between Philadelphia and Carolina. And 28 faceoff wins over 15 for Carolina. Four minute penalty kill was Carolina, but not for long. They had a power play goal for Philadelphia with 2.46 power play minute, but one short game and goal made that one clear as Jacob Slavin took that one over with a short game to take that goal instead. That was our toughest, wildest game. Two and the third seed keep on coming. We have a one more game coming up here, and that will be at Mile High. As the next commentator will be James Wolski, along with Sherrard Cheryl, and Karcha will be on the center ice. Looking for our stock players? Get inbound. And that's it for right now. Peace out, folks, for a while as the NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs in 2024 dial. This is Paintbrush. We'll see you all later for the last game. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.